Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Scrap Mechanic. Today, we are back in the town. Now, I've been wanting to do this town update for a while now, I've talked about it a bit, and we have started on the farm. Now, unfortunately, the town's map isn't ideal for a farm. I've gone around, I've been searching around this whole map to find the perfect spot for the farm, and this is the best spot I could find. Now, it does look good, the whole fact that we have two fields, but the only fields that I have on this map are the extremely large, I call it the mutant corn. So we've got those, and the fields are elevated off the ground uh, pretty high. That's, uh, that's the highest I've ever seen them come off the ground. So the area isn't ideal, but it is in the town map. So if you're wondering where the town is, the town is back over that way. You can somewhat see the outline of some buildings. The closest building would be the junkyard, if that gives you a better clue as to where we are. So we've got that. Now, this is going to be a several part, we'll call it almost like a mini series. A farm has a lot of equipment. It has a lot of buildings. It's just got a lot of things, and it would be impossible to do in one episode. So I've got three large pieces of equipment here. As you can see, the extremely large silos in the background. Uh, you can see I've started the fencing around where the whole farm is going to be. So I'm going to go over everything here. I've got quite a bit to actually go over. Uh, I guess we'll start off with the land. Of course, I've talked about the big mutant cornfields. You've got those. Uh, another thing that really bugs me about this area, which, by the way, like I said, this is probably the flattest area we have is the uh, the big tower here. I guess you can say, uh, maybe it's a cell phone tower. We have great reception in the area, but yeah, that's kind of in the way. Other than that, it's not terrible. Uh, it is going to be really hard to run some of the equipment across those fields, but uh, we'll have to improvise. We might have to split the fence open and maybe there's some flat area on the other side of that field. Maybe we'll make like a, uh, a pretend or a makeshift field. But anyways, this would be the entrance of the... Uh, farm here. I'm thinking we're going to have probably some sort of house and a barn over maybe one on each side. So you would go in here, you've got your fields, uh, the fence is almost completely enclosed. You can see where I stopped over here. I was just trying to see where like exactly this was going to go beyond this. So you've got that. Uh, of course you've got the big fields. Back here there's a couple cool areas that I'm thinking of doing or thinking of uh, different equipment and different buildings we can have. Uh, back here you have an opening over here, and you've got this weird rock formation. It almost looks like you could have like a mine, uh, which of course that's a little odd for a farm, but it's scrap mechanic. I mean, we can improvise. So we've got that. You've got the big silos back here. There's a uh, little area over here with a bunch of wood that's been chopped. So I'm thinking we might have a little lumber section over here. So yeah, we've got a lot to work with. Now, today's episode is going to be basically one section of the farm. And that would be the uh, Combine Harvester, so you would go around, and by the way, this isn't the same one that I built probably half a year ago. It's completely different. So we've got that, you've got a tractor here, and you've got the uh, trailer that's going to hold all the, whatever you're harvesting, most likely be like grain. And of course, you've got the silo that goes with it. Now all this does, and when I say works, it, it all looks like it works, it doesn't actually work. Of course, we're just doing everything for show and scrap mechanic right now. But anyways, we're going to go over all this equipment here, so let's go ahead. I'm going to move some of this out of the way real quick. Okay, this is my Combine Harvester. Now, I like this thing a lot more than the one I built earlier. The one I built earlier was a lot wider. It was flatter looking, and all the wheels were these large wheels back here, like all four of them. And realistically, the front wheels should be bigger. Now, I had to improvise. Of course, the town is straight vanilla parts. So for the front wheels, we had to use the tanks. So I know it does look a little bit funny, but we just had to go with it. I mean, I don't want to use mods on this particular build because I want people to just go to the workshop and be able to just straight up download it. So you've got that. You've got the front here. I think some, like, this might be called, like, the header, I think. So you've got those blades. You've got the uh, second blade here in the back. It looks more like a corkscrew type blade. So you've got those, got the uh, cab, the side actually folds out, so say when the, the uh, harvester gets full, it can dump its load over into the trailer. It's kind of like a, I played Farming Sim the other day, and that's, that's where all this came from. So you've got all that. Under here, you can somewhat see the uh, suspension setup, it's like a solid axle, 
And all these harvesters, they turn off the back, or at least the one that I was looking at. So the front wheels don't actually shift left and right, it's just the back wheels. But uh, anyways, we're ready to try this out. Now, we've got an issue. This thing, it doesn't set that high off the ground, so getting it up onto this field is a pain, and this field is extremely lumpy. Uh, with a combine harvester, you're going to have a flat field. You're not going to be doing something like this. Like, these are pretty extreme bumps here. So I have a feeling it's going to high center a lot, and it's just going to be a absolute pain in the butt. So we're going to take it over to a flat area, and I'm going to run it around, and then we'll see where we can uh, build like a field or something out there that we'll have a, we'll have an actual place to actually run this. So I'm going to take it out there real quick, and we'll run it around. Okay, to get into this thing, you've got it setting over here. It's got a button. It's a shame that we can't use the ladder because the ladder, this little area looks really cool, but you're just going to aim for the seat there. Now, let's go ahead and show you the cockpit. Uh, not much. You've got all the buttons up here. So we would close the doors. With one key. Now, the two key, uh, you're going to use that to open up the top part. They have like a little bag or something. It's, it's a weird system, but I think as it fills, uh, it gives it extra room. So that's what that is. And also, that's where I'm housing my uh, controllers and gates. So you can see those in there. Now... I think our four key is gonna that drops the shoot out so whenever you know say we're gonna dump we'll dump that out there let's see the five key I believe lowers the front end so there's the front ends low now and we can activate the blades so you can see the blades and yes I did watch several videos uh, I think on my last harvester I got it wrong I think the blades are actually turning in the wrong direction so I think everything's good now and I'm pretty sure somebody's still going to say that I'm it's going in the wrong direction. But I watched the video. I think it's right. But anyways, now we're going to drive around a bit. Uh, you know, I really want to hop. I mean, it wouldn't make sense harvesting mutant corn with this thing. But I really want to be in a field right now. Uh, but we got some nice areas back here. We'll probably have to make something. Or maybe just fence off something and say, oh, this is our field. I could. And I probably need to do it. I could turn the grass on when I'm out here at the farm. Uh, normally I keep it off because of the uh, town and it going through the uh, roads, but I could turn that on and that might actually uh, might actually look like we're harvesting something. So uh, one problem, and this is the whole fact that I had to use uh, tanks as wheels. The wheels tend to, and I don't know why that one's just spinning. I don't know why you're not going. Why are we not going? Here we go. Yeah, those tanks don't have much grip, so that's one of the problems that you run into. Actually, no, I think it was the front. I had the front down too far. So to adjust the front, the angle, you would uh, go up here. There's, I think it's one of the controllers by the electric motor up there. You would adjust it uh, up and down just a bit just to get it as close to the ground as possible. Uh, like I said, ideally, you would have a flat area. That way you can get it as close. So that's what I was going off of. Uh, normally when I build my equipment, I build it in a flat world. So... It, when I come out to here, it's like, all right, well, now I'm dealing with actual bumps, and it makes it a pain in the butt. Anyways, that is the Combine Harvester. That's probably going to be one of our biggest pieces of equipment here at the farm, or at least I'm almost for sure it is. Now, a lot of them do have a, uh, they have a bigger blade than this, but I know with the limited area that I have that that's going to be, yeah, that is annoying that it does that. Yeah, but anyways, like I said, with the limited area, I know I didn't need to, need to make it like two times as big as this. But yeah, until, uh, I promise whenever we get some proper big wheels and scrap mechanic, I don't want to use the mods to get them. Uh, I will put actual wheels on this, but for now we have to kind of deal with the tanks. It runs fine here because it's able to, you know, have a flat area and it's able to get up and grip, but if it gets off a little bit, those wheels typically spin, but that's still a really cool creation. But anyways, let's go ahead and get this thing set up. Say we are going to... I should probably be inside for this. Uh, we're going to dump, and I'm going to show you how the tractor works with the uh, trailer and silo. All right, here we are with the uh, John Deere tractor and trailer. Now, as you can see, the back wheel is actually a custom wheel. This was a design that Con Gaming had on one of his tractors, same with the fender here. And this is a pretty close representation of what the wheel size should be. Now this one grips a little bit better than the tanks do on the Combine Harvester. So uh, this one doesn't slip as much as you can see here. 
Uh, the spider web looks a little bit more intimidating than it is. Realistically, it's just the fenders uh, bearings that are going back like that. And then you've got three sets of bearings here. On, well, you've got them on each side. And they uh, skew this wheel back to give it a little bit more grip. You've got that. You've got the little towing mechanism back here. And yes, folks, that is a suspension glitch right there to make sure I can turn this thing as easy as possible. Now, one thing I want to do, I have this size tractor. I'm also going to make a couple other sizes, maybe a, another smaller one, because I want to have attachments that you can clip on and off to do different things around the farm. So this is going to be our big tractor for hauling trailers and maybe some big equipment. I'll have to look up and see what I'm all going to make. And then we'll have one that probably doesn't have a cover on it and that'll haul around some of the smaller stuff. So anyways, we are ready to jump into this. Here's the cockpit here, and it's got two buttons. It's just got a radio and the hitch mechanism. Now the hitch is a very simple mechanism. Uh, it's just, you'll see on the trailer over there, there's those little points that go down. Uh, you're just gonna line it up, make this go up, and you should be able to pull the trailer. Now this is the one thing that, that I'm a little upset about. Uh, the scrap mechanic engine, of course we know kind of how that went. Uh, it's not ready. They're still optimizing it, basically. You, they've got the test version out, which really didn't do anything for me. Uh, I was hoping by the time I was ready to do this episode that this was going to be fixed. Uh, Scrap Mechanic does not like collisions. So anytime you make, not unless you directly attach it to the vehicle, which that is an option. Say if I were to get a bearing and just weld the trailer to the tractor, this wouldn't be a problem. But it's going to be a problem here. So... When I get this out, uh, let me go ahead and line it up. You, we are going to experience some pretty bad lag here. Like these two objects getting close together, the game doesn't like it. So you can see it there. It's kicking in and it's going to get worse once these two objects hit. So here comes our mechanism. Oh, are we there? Uh, we're off just a bit here. We might need to reline it up. It gets really hard to adjust uh, once the game starts to lag like this. So angling this out, uh, I think we're good now. So we're going to come back. And we're going to lift up here. And oh yeah, we caught it that time. So yeah, now it's going to freely pull it. Uh, like I said, we're just going to have to deal with the lag. That's the bad part of this. Now it's uh, not too bad now, uh, but it really gets bad when I'm going to demonstrate what the trailer does uh, by the silos. So we need to swing around to get by the uh, combine harvester. Okay, here we go. We are going to go through the front gates there. Now... The combine harvester probably would actually be in a field right now, but of course we don't really have a proper one to do it in right now uh, with the uh, big fields over there. So we're going to come over here. Probably need to add a bit more engine power. Of course, this is probably the heaviest thing that this tractor is going to haul around is this big trailer. Anything else, it's going to handle it with ease. But uh, let's uh, go in through here. Got to be careful. Now we're going to drive and all oh, these objects don't like being close to each other. Oh, the lag. Wow. That is terrible. But anyways, uh, of course, the chute's already out. Uh, probably wouldn't have that out until uh, we're ready to dump here. Anyways, I stepped out here. That way I can get a little less lag. But yeah, you would be dumping off here. You fill up the uh, trailer here. It should be good to go. So after you're done, uh, let's see. This would be better to do in multiplayer if I had somebody else assisting me here. Uh, it does feel like I'm playing a farming sim. I guess they even have helpers in that game. So, yeah, once we're done there, he's going to fold that back. I'm going to hop out here, and we're going to drive this over to the grain silo. Uh, or at least that's what I think we're harvesting here. I don't know. We might have multiple silos. I have to see. I actually have those saved on a lift, so I can easily just pop some more down. I just went with the two. I was actually really afraid those were going to lag, and the game handled those really nice. Like, it handles stuff that big really well compared to the way it handles stuff like this little trailer getting drug around. Uh, even though right now it's actually running pretty decent. But uh, I do warn you, it's about to tank. Once we get up on this uh, platform here to dump off, say we have our uh, product here, it's not going to like it at all. So we're going to hit this little ramp. And here we go. We're probably running at about 15 to 20 frames at the moment. Oh, I can't wait for the new optimizations. We need it so bad. But yeah, here we are. We're going to be up here. Now, with this uh, trailer being not attached to the uh, tractor, it's only attached by the hitch, 
Uh, I can't actually connect the button to unload it to the tractor, so you're gonna have to get out. So we're gonna get out here. I really should probably just dump the tractor and get it off, but uh, I'll show you what this thing does. And oh, technically we were not lined up with the little grates down here. These grates would actually uh, say like all the grain and all that would fall through them and they would be stored in the big silos here. Uh, you know what? Let's pull forward a little bit. I'm gonna remove the tractor because I think I can save us a bit here. Save us some frames here by doing that. So we're gonna pull forward. Uh, actually, you know what? That got a little bit better right there. Okay, we might be okay. Alright, so we're gonna do that. Let's go ahead and hop out of the tractor here. And you got a switch back here. Now check this out. This is actually really cool. There we go. We would be dumping the product right now. Now, originally we had a non-Newtonian, he built a little cover for this that you can fold up and down to keep the product, say you're going into town or something, from falling out. Uh, but it had some bearings and this collision already was lagging, so we had to, we had to get rid of it, which kind of sucks, because I really liked it. Anyways, you dump off your product, good to go, just fold that back down. And we are ready to take off once again. Now, I probably just need to, I'm going to just remove this instead of driving it anymore, because I'm going to show you the difference this makes. So, take that there, and boom, look at that, we are running smooth again. Uh, I will be really happy when they get that figured out. Uh, hopefully that's soon. But anyways, there's the trailer there. I'm going to put it over here. Now, say you wanted to retrieve products. Uh, say we're going to load up. You'd have the trailer under here, and you can hit this button here. And it dumps down. And you're ready to dump your product off in the trailer and take it to town. Now, I would take that tractor and trailer to town, but... I don't want to deal with like 15 frames the whole way there. So we're going to take the tractor into town real quick because I got one more thing that we're going to talk about before we end this uh, because I think it's going to be what we're going to add next. Now, I do think we're going to add a farmhouse and maybe a farm and maybe some other buildings. Oh, don't get too close to that. There we go. So we're going to add that. But I also think in town, which this will probably be the next episode because I don't have the most time to build this weekend. I've got a couple big things happening. So, I think I'm going to build, and I'm pretty sure somebody's going to request it anyways, something like a farm store, like a tractor supply, or, well, that's the only really name brand one I can think of. We have a couple local ones around here. So, we're going to build something like that and have some attachments and probably a smaller tractor. Now, I went with the John Deere schemes on everything, but if you guys want to see something else, maybe the other tractor, we can do something like a case or something. So uh, let me go drive into town and I'll show you guys where we're going to stick it. Alright, here we are back in Komodoville and that, of course, is the name of the town. I know some people still seem confused when I say that, but that's our name. That's what you guys came up with. I, did, I didn't do that. Uh, what I'm thinking, uh, tractor store-wise or farm supply store, I think either here to the left of the police station, there's an open spot there. Uh, this is where I want you guys to kind of uh, give me some feedback uh, between where we're going to stick this and also stuff you'd like to see on the farm. But we've got a nice spot right there to the left of the police station. And we've got another nice spot. Uh, there's another nice spot here on the other side of the hospital. Uh, so you would go over the little bridge here. Yeah, that's a it's a nice spot. It's a bit small. Uh, we might have to go with something smaller. And unless it's a really, it might be a small farm store. Because uh, I'd like to have a little lot beside it to have some equipment ready to buy. So yeah, uh, one of those positions, uh, maybe I'll look around, maybe I can find something else. But anyways guys, like I said, comment below with feedback. Uh, these items will be available on the workshop. I'm going to hop out here. Uh, apparently we're going to go to the GameStop uh, in our tractor. But yeah, these will be available on the workshop. The world will be available again. Uh, like I said, it is a bit laggy with the trailer and tractor combo. Now if you were to put those together, and uh, just put a bearing under there instead of having it like a loose item. It would actually be just fine. You wouldn't get any lag. But yeah, I hope to have another small part out tomorrow uh, with this. And then we'll continue some other builds and we'll get, we'll get some other gameplay videos coming out. But anyways, uh, like I said, special thanks to Non-Newtonian for helping me out. Hopefully you enjoyed the episode and we will see you guys next time in Scrap Mechanic.